Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be flipping through my notes from AP Calculus BC from the past school year and also giving you some advice that can apply to both of the AP Calculus subjects as well as if you're just taking any calculus class or even any math class. First of all, the main study strategy that I recommend is just doing a lot of practice questions throughout the school year, not just cramming before the AP test. You want to start off by learning and practicing the basic skills, like how to do a derivative, how to calculate an integral, and you can find practice questions in your homework, your textbook, and there are a lot of other resources you can draw from, like the internet, or prep books, or other textbooks. And then once you've got your basic skills down, start working on actual AP style questions, which aren't just directly asking you to compute something most of the time, but rather setting up a problem for you and you need to figure out how to solve it and then also correctly apply your skills. You can find mock AP questions online or from prep books, but I recommend you just directly get them from the source, which is AP College Board. They have a lot of past exams and the scoring guidelines available for free online on their website. I'll link it in the description. Doing those practice questions is great to sharpen your computational and problem solving skills, and they can also help you memorize formulas. One trick to memorize all of the formulas that are necessary for calculus are to write them out completely when you're doing your questions until you're completely confident that you'll be able to remember it. I also recommend making a formula reference section where you just copy down only the formulas from your notes into a separate part of your notebook. And you'll see this towards the back of my notebook as we get farther in through the flip through. One thing my teacher did that I found really helpful was formula quizzes where basically you had the name of a formula and you just had to copy it out. It helped review the formulas that weren't used as common to make sure we just remembered everything. So if your teacher doesn't do this, you can just set them up for yourself to help you memorize formulas. Another thing that I also really recommend you memorize and know like the back of your hand are the unit circle values. It really helps since there's quite a bit of trigonometry involved in both trig sections and polar. Some other things you should memorize and just know off the top of your head are the decimal values of common irrational numbers like pi, Euler's number, square root of 2, square root of 3, and your multiplication tables up to like 12 or 13, and then powers of 2 up to somewhere around 2 to the 10th, and powers of 3 up to maybe like 3 to the 7th. It's just really helpful to speed up your calculations. Now let's move on from study tips to just advice for the AP exam itself. For the actual test, it's not expected that you know how to do everything because it is a very hard AP test. Like to get a five, you can get like a 70%. Instead of panicking about the things that you don't necessarily know and can't finish, just focus on doing what you do know as thoroughly and as correctly as possible. Every multiple choice question is worth the same amount, no matter the difficulty, so focus on what you actually can answer. And for free response questions, if you take a look at the actual way that the tests are scored, you get a lot of partial credit for having some steps along the way. So do as much as you can, even if you don't end up getting a final answer. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you're taking this class next year or taking the test soon, good luck! I also have more math videos, I will link them in the description, and I upload new videos every Monday. You can also see pictures of my notes on my Instagram, which is at studyquill. See you next time!